Hi parents, soon to be parents and all guardians. Welcome to Life with Detail One's channel. In our today's video, I'm going to share about six signs and symptoms of ADHD. This video is not mine, so all credits go to the owner, Psych2Go and their team. I wanted to share this video to spread awareness about ADHD. So let's get start. Understanding ADHD Information for Parents While ADHD is believed to be hereditary, effectively, managing your child's symptoms can affect both the severity of the disorder and development of more serious problems over time. Early intervention holds the key to positive outcomes for your child. The earlier you address your child's problem, the more likely you will be able to prevent school and social failure and associated problems such as underachievement and poor self-esteem that may lead to delinquency or drug and alcohol abuse. Please watch this video for more information. A quick disclaimer, this video was made for educational purposes only. If you have further questions or concerns about ADHD, please consult with your doctor first. With that said, let's start. I'm sure you've heard of Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, or ADHD, before. It's a neurodevelopmental disorder marked by an ongoing pattern of inattention or hyperactivity that interferes with your functioning and development. Though ADHD is most commonly diagnosed in childhood, it can also affect adults. Unfortunately, there's a significant lack of research into adults with ADHD. Many scientists believe that since ADHD is a developmental disorder, it cannot develop in adults without demonstrating any signs during their early childhood. But signs and symptoms of ADHD often persist into adolescence and adulthood. According to the NHS, by the age of 25, 15% of those diagnosed will still present symptoms. Of those actually diagnosed, 65% will have symptoms that affect their lives. Here are six signs and symptoms of ADHD to look out for if you think it's affecting your life or the life of someone you know. Number one, inattentiveness. One of the hallmark signs of ADHD is inattentiveness. It goes beyond simply not being able to pay attention. It can also look like the inability to focus on a task, finding it hard to pay attention to others or overlooking details. Though these symptoms can also be caused by stress, Pay special attention if you find your focus shifting often. Number two, hyperfocus. On the opposite side of the spectrum, you can also experience hyperfocus with ADHD. Hyperfocus can cause a person with ADHD to become so engrossed in a task that they forget about everything else going on around them. It's important to differentiate between hyperfocus versus when you're in a state of flow. Flow emerges from a state of deep concentration or engagement in something, and being in flow produces a positive feeling like a sense of accomplishment. Hyperfocus, on the other hand, is a result of an inability to regulate your attention span. With hyperfocus, you can't always choose what you focus on. You might be doing something important like homework, or you could be hyperfocused on scrolling endlessly through Kylie Jenner's Instagram feed. Hyperfocus can lead to setbacks in your personal relationships with friends or partners, or hurdles at work and school. To help with this, you could prioritize your tasks and accomplish them one by one, or, Ask your family and friends to text you at specific times to help you shift your focus onto more important tasks. Number three, impulsivity. Do you speak out of turn or do you regularly get yourself into socially inappropriate situations? Do you rush through tasks? These can all be signs of impulsivity in ADHD. It runs a lot deeper than just making split second decisions. ADHD impulsivity can really disrupt your life and can potentially get you in trouble. You might interrupt others during conversations, making them less inclined to talk to you again. Or you can act without much or any consideration of the possible consequences, and this can land you in hot water. Number four, disorganization. We all have hectic lives, but for someone with ADHD, things may feel a bit more chaotic than usual. If you have ADHD, you may have trouble establishing order in your life, and it can be difficult to keep everything in the right place. An adult with ADHD may struggle with these organization skills. This can include problems keeping track of tasks and trouble prioritizing them in a logical manner. Number five, mood swings. Because this symptom is present in a lot of other disorders, it's not an inherent sign of ADHD, 
But if you're someone with ADHD, you may experience mood swings or irritability. There may be days you feel good and grounded and other days where you're in the emotional gutter. You can try writing your emotions down, which can help you keep track of your emotional patterns and prepare you for the next mood swing. Setting a schedule will help you establish a routine and avoid the possible stress from disorganization. And number six, lack of motivation. Does it seem like you're doing everything at once, but feel unmotivated to go about your tasks? Lack of motivation is a common symptom of ADHD. A lack of motivation combined with other symptoms like poor organizational skills is problematic when it comes to accomplishing tasks or being engaged at work. There are many ways to help fight a lack of motivation though. For example, you could break down your chores into manageable tasks or write down your positive feelings you're experiencing throughout the day. These techniques can help you find the motivation to finish your tasks. Do you think you might have ADHD? Or does someone you know think they could have ADHD? Do you think these signs will help you or a loved one? Go ahead and like and share this video if it helped you and you think it could help someone else too. Although life with your child may at times seem challenging as a parent, you can help create home and school environment that improve your child's chances for success. In general, more than one intervention is needed. By working closely with your healthcare providers and school personnel, you will be able to engage in treatment options that are most suited to the unique needs of your child and family. Thank you for watching guys. Subscribe and turn on notification so you don't miss more videos to come. And I'll see you on the next video. Take care everyone.